Hi guys and welcome to another Strelok C++ tutorial. I was just uh, watching the Mandelbrot set which is actually really cool and uh, the cool thing about it is that some guy uh, actually printed out the Mandelbrot set in uh, 2.5 lines in Perl code and that's really astonishing to me because I know how tough Perl can be even though I've never programmed in it but yeah so uh, actually I'll be right back and I'm back so today's tutorial focuses on pointers well right pointers so a pointer can be denoted this is the easiest way to think of a pointer well maybe not the easiest but the pointer is this thing it's an, an arrow pretty much that points to an object and this can be an object a or x so a pointer to the object uh, is basically the same thing as the object itself because it points to an object uh, so well let's let's get into let's start writing our examples and then we'll look at what actually what it actually means so include iostream and include uh, conio.h for now Na the standard namespace ooh that's bad oh well so many distractions so uh int oh crap okay sorry again that was the mirc uh chat and um yeah so we declared our int main and uh, let's see today's lesson is going to be about pointers so as again I have my closing statements okay so let's fool around with pointers uh, you remember from lesson what was it I forget uh, how I said that this was a unary operator a uh, unary dereferencing operator well this is gonna come in handy to know um, but for now let's declare pointer so a pointer is declared similarly to a normal integer uh, in p2 p number so first of all notice the star but before the pointer uh, some people prefer to write it this way uh, and their logic is uh, well, p number is an integer pointer, so it points to an integer. Uh, and some people write it like this, and uh, their logic is that the pointer p number points to an integer. And both of these are fine, and you can write either one, so you can write this or you can write this. I personally prefer to write it this way because uh, if you write uh, the integer pointer this way, and then you have uh, p number two. Uh, the thing is, this p number will be an integer pointer, but p number two will not be. So if you write this notation, you might be confused. p number two is actually an integer because this star refers only to uh, the first number. So you you could write it this way. And then both of them are going to be pointers, I think and so that's why I prefer to write integer pointer p number because it actually shows that this refers to here but once again it's your choice so we'll declare pointer p number and now we'll declare an integer x which is 5 so uh, so far pointer p number does not have any uh, it points to nothing it's a stray pointer it's lost so let's find it a target so p number is equal to uh, this is the the reference operator and it shows us the the place in mem in memory where this is located. So the reference of x. So p number is we assign the value of x to p number. Actually, the place where x is to p number. And now p number points to x. So now we say C out uh, P oops P number is 
and now we put this is the dereferencing operator so p number c out x is x oops here we go okay so let's compile and run this and um, I'll save it as pointers P number is 5 and X is 5 so they're the same thing pretty much because I assigned P number to uh, the place of X and let's just put an end L here because to clear things up and to make it more oops aesthetically pleasing so P number and X are now the same thing so now let's uh, say plus plus X so we incremented X and they're both they both incremented why uh, because P number holds the same memory location actually it points to the same memory location as X so whatever we do it's like uh, imagine oops X being a box so X is here and P number is actually pointing into the box so whatever is inside the box uh, is the value of P number and X it's it's actually the value of both so p because we by by doing this it's kind of like we drew this arrow here so that's pretty cool uh so right and what if we do plus plus p number um sorry plus plus p number it will actually do the same thing p number is 6 and x is 6 because but when you're trying to refer to X actually you have to use this uh, dereferencing operator um, so because P number was assigned to the reference of X this is the reference of X so therefore if you just see out P number you'll get the reference of X which is probably the memory location so if to use the dereferencing operator to actually get uh, the value of X so if you increment uh, right the uh, memory location of p number well guess what happens p number becomes some random number because you you went to the next box over so it's basically like um, this was your pointer right okay so this was your pointer this was your box and now uh, this was X and this was the original statement and when you incremented P number oops you made it look like this so you see now P number points to this box which has some random numbers in it 